Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to start a new session. It's about the JavaScript function. Okay, function related everything I will cover into this session. <coughs> into this session, let's start it with the basic function. Like I show you right now, I remove everything. Okay, I remove everything and I take one of the variable as a constant variable. I name it as a message. Okay, message. And into this message area in our, um, I want to do and to display some of the string value. You can use that single code. You, you can use the double code. Right now, I make it as a back tick. Okay, I want to use that as a back tick. And into this back tick, I want to show some of the string value as a I am Aryan. Okay, I am Aryan and I am 36 years old okay so here i simply show some of the message and now i want to do to print this message with the console log that will be as a console okay console and then console log uh, with this console log i want to do and to display or this message okay i want to simply display this message i hope you already know about it now if you look at the save all now that will be print or this string value now click the refresh now you can see it's now display as a, i am Aryan and i am 36 years old now I want to do, I want to declare it by the function. Okay, into the function declaration, there is a two things. One is the function declaration, another is the function call. Like I put some of the note for you. First work is we have to make it as a function declaration. Okay, that will be the function declaration. Function declaration. And another part, another part will be as a function calling. Okay, that means a function call where exactly you um, show your function so that will be the function call so that is a function call okay now into the function declaration area here i want to do i want to take um, one of the functions so first of all that will be a function keyword and i name it as a about okay about me so that is our function name okay and then you can pass some of the parameter in here so i'll do the things later like right now our function is now created Okay, our function name as a about me. So into this function area, I want to do how to display this message. Now I cut it and now here simply I paste it. Okay, I simply paste it. So now our function name, what function name is about me. Now I want to do, I want to call our this function name. Okay, I want to call this function name. You can see there is a function call. So now I want to do how to call this function. If you want to call this function, that will be our this function name okay now automatically that should be print like if you now click as a save all and now if you go click as a refresh now you can see it's now successfully displayed the same message as the i am rdn and i am 36 years old okay our function is now declared successfully so into this function area into this function area they have one of the parameter so into this parameter you can actually insert some of the value like i want to do i want to take two of this parameter one is the name and also I want to take another parameter as a age okay friend so that is our two of this parameter now into this function from to the function area i want to pass some of the value i want to pass that name value and also i want to pass that age value like here i name one of the string value as a kazi i make it as a kazi and also i want to make it as a age age will be as a um, 30 okay age will be as a 30 now that is our name if i parameter name i pass some of the value as a kazi and age i pass it as a 30 so now if you want to do if you want to display it in a here dynamically then what exactly you have to do i hope you already remember that part i have already discussed about that things with you then i i want to do to change that name right so now this name will be comes from our, this parameter area so i have already named it as a name so if you want to display it then that will be as a dollar sign that will be as a dollar sign and then the third bracket that means a curly bracket and here we have to pass that name okay now that our name will be updated and also i want to do the same things for our a's so that will be our a's okay now that it will be a dynamic if you now click as a save all and now if you go click as a refresh now you can see it's successfully updated as a i am kazi and i am 30 years old so when you use that function is very um, easy like if you want to run it again another one you can run it with the different name like i name it as a aryan okay i name it as a aryan i make it as a 40. okay now that should be pinned another one if you now click as a save all now go there click as a refresh now you can see it's now showing as a, i am aryan and i am 40 years old okay friend i hope it is very much clear to you and also they have the another functions from where you can actually um, you have to some return some of the data okay like i show you i have already discussed about that things with you 
like there is one part and also I do to take another one like I take one of the variable I take two of these variable one is the number okay I take one of the number one number one I make it as a 20 okay 20 and also I take another one as a late and the number number two so number two I want to make it as a 30 okay now I want to do I want to add both of these data so if you want to add both of these data then what exactly you have to do I take one of the variable as a sum okay sum and then he, from here we have to add do both of these that means the number okay number number one and then plus number number two okay I want to add both of these and I take both of this result that means that will be add the number one twenty and then thirty I take the things with this variable now I want to do to display that will be the console log into the console log area I want to display our this sum right so now that should be display which value that should be display as a 50 now if you click as a save all and now if you go click as a refresh now you can see it's now written as a 50 now i want to do the this work with using that function so if you want to do that work with using that function what exactly you have to do first of all i want to do to take one of the variable okay here i take one of the not variable i take one of the function that will be as a function keyword and i name it as a calculate sum okay calculate sum whatever you name it so now right now i name it as a calculate sum and into this calculate sum here i want to do and to pass two of this parameter okay i want to pass two of this parameter as a number okay number one and also i want to pass another parameter as a number two okay number two so this type of two of this parameter i simply pass it okay now that is our function or into the function area now i want to do and to um, add the same logic that means uh, that is the same logic okay now i want to do that work with using the function so i simply paste it i take one of the variable as a sum and into the sum area that will be add our number one and then number two so that will be add both of this number and here i save it without this variable as a sum variable now i want to do and to return our this variable okay from to the function i want to return it that means i return our function name as a sum okay friend i simply returned it from here and now i want to do i want to uh, pass some of the value okay that means the number one and number two value i want to pass it better i take one of the variable as a late and i just name it as a result okay result and into this result area that is our function name right so into the function area that is a two parameter one is the number one and the number two so here i want to do i want to pass both of this value i want to pass value as a, um, a 10 okay i want to pass that as a 10 and also i want to pass it as a 20 right now that should be as a 30 so i simply pass both of this in our function parameter area that is our parameter value right and now i want to do and to display our this result and you can see that is our functionality i have already done this functionality that means all that our condition is in here i take the things with this variable and from here i return this sum right and now in our this method here i pass both of this parameter now i want to do and to print it without this result because here i take all the things with, with this variable i want to do i want to now display it okay like there is a console log into this console log area now i want to display our this result okay i simply display this result right now we don't need this if you now click as a save all and now if you go click as a refresh yeah you can see it's now successfully print as a 30 okay friend i hope you can well understand about it so that is one part and also if you want to declare some of the if you want to return some of the data so that is the return part okay i hope it's very much clear to you in our next video i want to discuss about the default parameters so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video